Hi, I'm Rob Lloyd, this is The Con Artist, and would you care to introduce yourself to the members of the internet? Yes, my name is Melanie Nemo, and I'm the president of Oztrek, the Star Trek fan club. Now, how long have you been president of Oztrek for? This is actually my third year. I've been part of the club for about 15 years, um, but yeah, I've been on the committee for around about nine, ten years, and this is my third year as president. So tell us a little bit about what Oztrek do uh, in Melbourne and in Australia. Yep. Once a month, we meet at the Northgate Town Hall. So the first Saturday of every month, it's from two until five, and each meeting we have a different theme or a different activity related to Star Trek, of course. So next month, we've got a Ferengi Bazaar. Um, yeah, we have guest speakers. Last month, we had Rob Jan from 3000. Yeah. He's actually one of the original founding members of um, Oztrek. So it's always good to get Rob in because he has a wealth of knowledge. It's incredible. He, he is insane with how much knowledge he has. I've, I've done a couple of guest spots on Zero G, and he's just yeah. amazing. Yeah, he's, he's great. He's <laughs> very, very entertaining as well. So, yeah. Now, how have you guys, um, as like the traditional version of what a fan club is, is very much of an older time. Have you guys found it difficult transitioning into more, you know, computer technology and the internet and all that type of stuff? Or is it, has it been an easy transition? Um, well, I'm not tech savvy, so I just delegate. Um, but, you know, we have in the past had different sort of interactive meetings and things like that. So we actually had a toy model maker from Queensland who does his own um, home movies, sort of like Thunderbirds and all that. And so we, we were originally going to Skype with him, but we couldn't get it to work. So he actually put together a, a, DV, a um, video for us. Oh, great. So not a video. <laughs> I'm that's okay. That's, a, that's okay. I'm with you as well. for us, you know, about what he did and everything and how Star Trek has influenced him him and all that kind of stuff so now you've got a special event this year is that right with Oztrek yes we do our club is turning 40 years old 40 awesome. years young I should <laughs> say yes what are your big plans for celebrations for the 40th we've actually got a we're having a huge gala ball at the Amora Hotel in Richmond so that's going to be from 6 until 11 that night. It's a full three-course sit-down dinner. We've got door prizes. We've got commemorative gifts. We're going to have a band. We've got a DJ, a dance floor. Costumed, of course. Of course. Uh, not compulsory Star Trek, but any kind of science fiction. Yeah, so it's going to be a great evening, and that's on Saturday the 27th of August. Wow, so put it in your diaries and come on down. Now, you guys are a regular fixture at the convention scene. Um, how many cons have you been to as just as a punter? Um, I originally started working on Armageddon when the very first Armageddon happened and that was um, with Scotty Liston and I was one of the working on one of the stalls helping uh, Rob Van Dam move his way through all the crowds and everything like that so yeah but with Oztrek as well um, it's been probably four five six years coming to all the regular um, pop culture events. Now how is um, doing the conventions, is it very helpful for you guys to connect, make new, make new members? Yeah, absolutely, there's so many people who love Star Trek and they live in Melbourne and they go, I had no idea you guys existed. Yeah. It's like, but you know, we've been around for 40 years, but you know, I guess 20, 30 years ago, it was a lot different to get the word out. But now with Facebook and everything and, and the internet, it's, um, yeah, so we make sure that we're here, that our presence is at every kind of event, just so we can make sure that people renew their memberships as well. And yes. yeah, new members as well. So it's great. Um, so is there, is it the, the three big ones really, uh, um, Armageddon, Supernova, but now Armageddon's AMC. AMC, yep. And, um, and Supernova and, and uh, Oz Comic Con. Uh, so you guys are a presence at all three of those? Yes, we are. Absolutely. Yeah. And do you find much of a difference between the three conventions or are they all kind of the same? Uh, sort of same, same. When you're actually manning the stand, unfortunately, you don't get a lot of time to go around. And, but they all, they're all they different, but they're same, same, sort of. Yeah. But they're still great fun and everyone loves coming to them. And it's such a great environment as well, which is what's really important too. Now, what, what do you love most about Star Trek? What, what's, what's the thing that draws you into it as a fan? Watching Star Trek, I mean, you watch so much TV day, TV today, and it's all crime, it's all murder, it's all people being at their worst. Star Trek, I watch it and I go, oh my God, there is hope for our species and for our planet. So it has positive reinforcement and it's a very clever show and the people can work through their problems. Everyone's now, inclusive. Now, do you have a favourite franchise? Is it the original series or is there a particular one of the Star Trek franchises that is your personal favourite? Uh, I started watching Next Generation, but I do love Voyager 
and I don't hate me for this, but I actually really enjoyed the Enterprise series. Oh, okay. I really liked that. I thought because it was just so, they didn't have, you know, the guidelines to follow. They were just out there winging it and having to use their own morals and their own, you know. Yeah. And I found it really exciting, just sort of new frontiers going out and really being the first, you know, how do we do this? We've got to be the best that we can be, so. And are you excited about the new TV series that's going to be starting to film very soon? Yes, yes. Hearing a lot about it on the internet and who they're bringing in to work on it, I yeah. think it makes a big difference as opposed to just writing a show just to cash in on it. So it's got to have those values and those traditions. Yeah, the people who love the show. Yes, yeah. yep, yep. Well, thank you very much for your time and good luck with the 40th birthday. Thank you. This has been The Con Artist. Thank you.